First thing we're going to do as we're walking up to the boiler is make sure that the pressure gauge is reading where we expect it to be and it's not above the red line. And then we're going to make sure that we've actually got water in the boiler. So I'm looking at the gauge glasses and yes, it looks like there's water in there, but to check it properly, we're going to need to blow them uh, down and actually confirm that they're reading correctly. They're not a fail-safe device. <clears throat> so we've got three connections on the uh, gauge glasses. We've got a steam connection at the top, a water connection uh, in the middle and our drain connection at the bottom. And what we need to make sure is that all three of those stabbings into the boiler are clear. To do that, we go through a sequence of moving these handles. So at the moment, this handle is open, this handle is open, and this uh, handle is closed. We're gonna go through a sequence and we're gonna uh, set them back to this when we've finished. So the first thing we're gonna do is close off the water, close off the steam, and then open the drain. And when we open the drain, all of the water should drop out. The speed at which that happens is an indication of how clear that drain is. So if it's moving sluggishly, I would suggest you've probably got a, uh, a blockage building up in the drain line. Once we've done that, we're going to check the water. So we'll open the water. We can hear the water running. So we know that's clear and close it again. And then we're going to do the same with the steam. So we open that. I can hear the steam running. Uh, we may be able to see it in the glass. Then we reinstate the water and close the drain and that's our water levels checked. Uh, as I said, this is not a fail safe device. If we get a blockage in either of these two stabbings, the tendency is for the water to creep up the glass um, and that means that we've got higher reading than we have in the boiler.